I hail from the highlands of Ethiopia. And I represent the archipelago of the Philippines. And, and this, this is what you know about my country. We are the land of the handout. Our little boys and girls know sickness and starvation before the weight and wealth of a good education. If they, if they ever, ever set foot in a school at all, clean water is as distant from our villages. As a government that can care for its citizens, anyone in opposition is synonymous with terrorists trading justice for jail time. We are the nation of several fair-skinned colonizers. The nation. Where the people's happiness is a finite concept, limited to the time it takes for flash floods to slaughter slums as if trying to redefine the term rock bottom. We, we plant bunk beds in landfills and use trash bags for pillows to rest our heads as pickpockets and con artists replace princes and princesses in our bedtime stories. Welcome to society's definition of a third world nightmare. You see, the populace puts focus on what we don't have. How our buildings aren't tall enough, and our cars aren't fast enough, and how we can't seem to triumph over our trials and tribulations. Our first world friends glance down on us from their ivory towers. Their pupils opaque with pity as they stab failure in bright red to the front of our forehead. Like they are the straight A studded stars, and we are the dunce caps and in the back row, too dumb to fend for ourselves. We are looked at like peers. Instead of seeing us on the same level. This world order is a spitting image of a ladder we can't climb. A luxury we can't afford. A pyramid above us because we are basic. What gives them the right to make us feel like our countries were left behind when God was handing out blessings? To address our nations as a subhuman social class. As if we are aliens from a third world unworthy of dignity. They, they pierce our pride like zeppelins. Brought down by belittling bullets as if we are antonyms of beauty in the Philippines. We scream kami, ay maganda. In Ethiopia we shout, enya konjo with Translation, we are beautiful. And just because that wasn't how you would pronounce beauty, it isn't made any less true. The successes of our nations are not chained to Anglo-Saxon definitions. The value in our nation's lives and the love that we have for our land, measured by our passion, and our soil is worth its weight in gold. Over 7,000 islands in the Philippines, and each one exhales culture like carbon dioxide from every atom encased by those white sanded shorelines. The souls of our forefathers are coaxed from keberos and karars and dance ceremonies that stretch into the supernatural world. So when I tell you I am Filipiopi, do not shame my country's name with your pity. We are royalty, handcuffed to a phony paradigm of beautiful. We are done with our homes being mistaken for monstrosities.